This was the scene last year in Jerusalem during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan, as tens of thousands of worshippers flocked to the Temple Mount for prayers at the Al-Aqsa Mosque. But in March, as the threat of COVID-19 reared its ugly head, the Islamic institution which oversees the Temple Mount decided to close it to the public. One Islamic cleric who advocated its closure, Sheikh Raid Bader, explains why it posed such a challenge. When I led this initiative, it was very hard. People were in shock. They didn't know what would happen, because usually when we are distressed, we turn to God to get closer. We don't close the mosques. When we are distressed, we pray a lot. When we're sick, we pray. When we're having financial problems, we pray. If there was a war, we pray. Even when there's no rain, we pray for rain. So it was the opposite of everything we know. During Ramadan, it is customary to end the long fast days with large family dinners, pray communally at the nearby mosque, and give charity, often in the form of meals. This year, many Muslim institutions across the world are asking worshippers to do the following. Limit meals to their immediate family, pray at home, and give charity online instead of in person. Sheikh Riyad has been taking to social media, preaching for the practice of social distancing and adherence to the other health ministry guidelines, which he says comes from the examples of the Prophet Muhammad. We are told exactly what to do. The Prophet spoke about quarantine 1,500 years ago, and he did it himself. Someone from his cohort came to greet him, but the man had a disease, and he wanted to shake his hand. So the Prophet said, don't come near me, but just feel as though I shook your hand, and then he told him to go home and stay there. And in Damascus he said, if there is an infectious disease, those who are inside should not come out, and those who are outside should not enter. The Prophet knew these things. Which the Sheikh says ripple through the mosques across the region. From this office came the first call to close the mosques in the entire Middle East, and it got to the three most important mosques in Islam, the one in Medina, the one in Mecca and Al-Aqsa. And as Israel begins lifting many of the restrictions imposed two months ago, Islamic leaders who have been telling believers to stay home may face a challenge of mixed messages. We, as religious leaders, will go according to the government restrictions. If the government decides to open school and people are gathering, maybe gatherings of 300 people, maybe because of the economic situation, we can't tell our worshippers that we will keep the mosques closed. They will say, the cafe is open, the school is open, why should the mosque remain closed? They will fear that someone is being prejudiced against religion, and that has happened in the past few days. So now we must face that question. Emily Rose, I-24 News.